So, it has been just over a year and a half, right? I started really grinding my YouTube, working on Twitch, doing Kick, doing TikTok, everything in between, right? This is just a video of me discussing about how I feel about each one of these platforms. Now, some, it's going to be good. Others, it's not going to be so good. These are my honest opinions on these different platforms I have over here. I know there's other platforms such as Rumble, which I don't really mess with. But this is my honest opinion when it comes to Twi uh, Kick, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. Some of these I will be able to show you information on. Other ones, such as my YouTube, I won't be able to because there's a lot of sensitive information about me on there that I can't really show. It is what it is. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully this also points you in the right direction and could put you know put you on the right track when it comes to your content creation on whether it's Kick, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, it doesn't matter. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever for me, you can you know go down to the comment section, ask away, and I'll answer the best I can. Or I might know somebody that could potentially push you in a direction that could get you an answer. So let's get into this, you guys. Hey, Posa Josh here. There's one other thing that I do want to put out there, and I really want to include it in this video because it's very important to me that you guys understand. Only do content creation if you're having fun. If you are not having fun, pack it up, sit down, play games with the homies. That's all I got to say. Only do this if you're having fun. If you're not having fun, pack it up, go home. And people can tell that. Just two cents, man. That's just my two cents. Anyways, back to the video. The first platform we're going to talk about in this video is obviously going to be Kick. So, when it comes to Kick, in the beginning when it first launched, I thought that this would be a sounding platform to get people going, right? A really... They offered the moon, all kinds of stuff. And on top of that, I went 0 to 60 when it came to followers on Kick like that. Um, the biggest problem I've had when it comes to Kick is the fact that there's just so, and I mean, so many bots. And the fact that it's, hey, I like your content. You should join my Discord. Or it's individuals that are like, hey, man. I'm a graphics designer. I want to do this and supply you with that. This is my problem when it comes to that is the fact that you can go to my profile, whether it's on Kick, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok. I don't care what platform it is, right? There is an email address, a business email address set up for my YouTube channel and all of these channels to allow people to email me directly with video ideas, with sponsorships, all kinds of stuff like that. If you're a graphics designer, your number one way to get that ban hammer in my chat is to come in and tell me that, hey, looks like you need an overlay. No, I don't want it. What you see on my stream is what you get. Whether it's me sitting here playing the game behind me with my green screen and just having my logo up in the corner like it is, or if it's, you know, I don't care. I have my stream set up simple because I don't need all that extra stuff. I don't need an overlay. I don't need something that's going to pull people's attention away from whatever we're doing, right? Um, like I said, if you're a graphics designer and you feel like reaching out to a streamer, by all means, look for an email address. Join their Discord and try to talk to them that way. But your number one way to do it is not join in, joining into their stream and telling them, you need a graphics designer, I'm going to be it. So enough complaining about graphics designers. My biggest complaint when it comes to Kick, as you look at it, and this is this is what the creator dashboard looks like when it comes to Kick. Uh, mind you, like I said, I went zero to sixty on Kick like that. I got so many followers on Kick really quickly, but like I said, I ran into bots. Follow you know follow me on TikTok or follow me on Discord. Actually, I think is what it is because I like your content or the hey. I'm a graphics designer. I have 73 followers on Kick, right? I was streaming, and when you look at it, there is nothing here to actually look at your analytics when it comes to Kick 
and to show what how you're doing. It doesn't show anything. There's nothing. Stream preview, activity, mods, chats, all this stuff, right? There's nothing. Followers, like, this allows me to change how the chat is. Mod, nothing. Like I said, it's just... It's just bare bones, and I obviously went to, uh, you know, tw Twitter here. No, Reddit. Reddit. I was like, I love streaming on Kick. More viewers, subs, and uh, on Kick, eight subs currently, right? Um, than I do on Twitch, which he has zero. But I'd like to look at the stream data after stream, and obviously everybody's like, hey, check out this Discord. Hey, do this. But there's one legitimate answer here. Unfortunately, we do not have this feature available on our platform at the moment. But assure you that our development team is actively working on implementing this soon. That was five months ago. I don't see any real changes when it comes to Kick, other than the fact that they just added a VODs feature. So my honest opinion when it comes to Kick, it's not the platform. It really is not. It's like many people say it's a cesspool. There's a lot of people that do less than desirable things on kick. There's a lot of to catch a predator on kick. But when it comes to streaming growth and potentially making money on here, in my opinion, it's a no go. The next platform we're going to discuss is TikTok. The problem I have with TikTok is it's a love hate relationship. It is one of those ones where it doesn't matter what I do. I'm going to get a warning no matter what. TikTok is one of those platforms I genuinely feel like it's something that's going to allow you to springboard and get recognized and funnel people into your YouTube, Twitch, or Kick. I'll throw Kick in there because, like I said, sometimes people will find success on Kick. I'm not saying that you won't. I'm just saying that you could. Um, TikTok's definitely one of those ones where you can get attention on your content, especially short form, because a lot of people don't have the attention spans like they used to. And if you can capture a clip, whether it's funny or dumb or what have you, this is the platform to do it on. This is the potential where you can go viral. And on top of that, they do offer live you know, going live on TikTok once you hit a thousand followers. I know there's other ways to go about doing it. I'm not exactly sure. But the problem is, is when you go live on TikTok, you got to keep it PG. There's no F-bombs. If you say, God damn it. If, you know, whatever you say, you're going to probably get flagged for. I know there's been times on TikTok live where I'm just sitting there chilling, shooting, you know, the shit with chat. And I don't say a single curse word. And I will get flagged for a hateful and bullying behavior. I was sitting here one time on TikTok, on live, and I got banned for a week for sexually explicit content. When I was sitting on, on the chat, just like this, wearing a t-shirt, just chilling, playing the watermelon game on the Nintendo Switch, and that's where you take smaller fruit, fruit and make it into bigger fruit and it's just a very chibi style japanese game that came from japan about a year ago but yet i got banned for a week for playing that game so here's the other problem when it comes to tiktok is that these are my key metrics for the last 28 days not even the last 30 just the last 28 and it shows you that you know videos i'm down like 34% because I was kind of bitter there for a little bit. It wasn't even 28 days ago that I got banned for a week. Um, but the thing of it is, is you see those ads of, hey, get out of that two to 300 view jail. 100% that is true. It doesn't matter whether the videos I post on TikTok get, you know, 10 likes or I've had some of them that have gotten 90 likes and I've only had 230 views on it. The end of the day, TikTok is a really, really good measuring stick to allow you to get, you know, your eyes on your content. That's the sole purpose for it. And on top of that, the content for the short form you're using on TikTok, don't forget to use on YouTube. And we'll talk about that more on the YouTube section. 
Um, I believe as of right now, I don't even remember how many followers I have. Um, I'm at 2.4 thousand followers and I have 42.8 thousand likes. Like I said, it's just one of those things. I TikTok live is not the way to go. Utilize TikTok to just get eyes on your content, to funnel it to whatever platform you want to use, whether it's kick, whether it's Twitch, whether it's YouTube, let's get into big purple next. Of course, we got to talk about Twitch, AKA big purple. Like I just said. Twitch is a platform that's been around forever. It's been around, I believe, I since 2010, 2011 time frame. I started my, tic, I mean, my Twitch account back in 2014. I started streaming since, what, 2017, I believe it was. I've been off and on trying this content creation thing. Um, when it comes to Twitch, I will say that it genuinely and i mean genuinely is not it's hard to be found on there you got to keep grinding you got to be able to do short form content like i said to funnel people over from tiktok youtube shorts what have you to get them to come over to twitch to you know really build your platform over there Unless you're at the top of the channel recommendation stuff, you are not going to be recognized. I'm just being serious. So let's look at the key matrix like I have for the other ones. So we're looking at the statistics here. Mind you, I've only streamed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times from June 19th to July 18th. So over the last month, I've only streamed 9 times. I've been busy as all get out. Trust me, usually I try to stream four times a week, but when you have a nine to five, sometimes it gets difficult. Um, my average viewers, 0 0.7. Like I said, hard to be like get eyes on you when it comes to <laughs> Twitch. Um, but I'm not saying that it's not impossible. Um, if you're grinding, if you're genuine, if, you know, if you, as long as you're having a good time and you're playing a fun game, that's the biggest thing that comes from doing content creation. Um, on top of that, the other thing I will admit that's nice is that they tell you right here, these are the categories that we suggest. <laughs> They're like, these are games we suggest you to play. And of course I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 lately um, and let me tell you, those numbers for Red Dead Redemption 2 have been pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. And then the rest of these, World of Tanks, World of Warships, Angerfoot, World War Z, Star Citizen, like, there, there are very few of these I've, I actually have heard of. Um, I think it's only recommended that because I have been playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, like I said, when it comes down to it, like, I highly recommend... If you're trying to do it, don't get discouraged. Just keep on grinding. Because, like, everybody always talks about how Jinxy streamed to one viewer for over a year. And, and it's 100% true. And on top of that, like, if you got friends that are very supportive, they're going to sit there in your chat and they're going to help you out. Let's get to the last platform we're going to talk about in this video. And the last platform we're going to talk about, and I can't show you guys, like, exactly key elements and statistics because there's a lot of personal information on there and stuff like that because I did make partner with YouTube is YouTube. YouTube is definitely always going to be the home of Queso Blanco period end of story. I know I'm trying to keep this as impartial as I can, but I will admit out of all four platforms we're talking about here today, YouTube is definitely the largest and on top of that it's on a global scale on top of that it takes all the best features from tiktok all the best features from twitch slash kick they're basically the same thing twitch and kick are they run off of aws which that's why i don't get why kick doesn't have analytics compared to twitch that has analytics it's not that hard when it comes to YouTube, they have the YouTube Shorts, which is TikTok. On top of that, as of recently, 
you could stream in vertical format on YouTube. And it will throw those live streams in with the shorts, just like YouTube does when you're scrolling and you see TikTok lives, right? You also get the ability to live stream on TikTok. Now, granted, the live streaming aspect of YouTube is kind of rough. It can be hard. You can sit there. I know the first couple days I would stream on YouTube, I'd have zero people. Now it's like five between, you know, it averages between five and 10 bounces back and forth. I'm still small time. Like I said, this is my almost roughly a year and a half long video. Um, like I said, it, the long form. So you can produce videos such as the one you're watching right now. Post it on YouTube and allow people to collect the information that you're putting out. Right. It allows people to be informed. And on top of that, you got the VODs. You got all kinds of stuff. And I genuinely enjoy sitting here making videos, talking about my experience, because I guarantee you there's going to be people that don't watch this entire video. And if you do, thank you so much. They're going to be like, oh, you know, you're talking about blah, blah, blah. You need to show more statistics. You need to do more research. No, we are talking about my, my Queso Blanco experience on all these platforms and what I've had to go through and the headaches and the trials and tribulations. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, YouTube's the one stop shop. So if you're going to multi stream, I highly recommend adding YouTube to that multi stream. Don't just multi stream on Twitch and kick multi stream to YouTube as well, because that VOD you're going to have is going to be uploaded right into the YouTube nether. On top of that, learn how to make thumbnails. I mean, yeah, it can be a pain in the butt, but you can do it in OBS. You can do it in Paint. You can do it in whatever plat like whatever app you want to use to do it. But this is my honest opinion when it comes to all of these platforms. And like I said, I try to be as transparent as I can. I can't really do it with YouTube because there's a lot of stuff on there. I, you know, personal stuff I don't want to put out there. And like I said, I just, I want to be transparent and, tell, and show you guys at least Kick doesn't have any statistics. TikTok does. And YouTube, I mean, uh, Twitch does as well. And then <clears throat> YouTube has YouTube Studios. Like I said, I highly recommend it. Go to YouTube, do a YouTube Live. Mind you, if you do apply for YouTube Live, it does take 24 hours to allow you to go live on that platform. On top of that, you can multi-stream on YouTube. You can stream vertically and you can stream horizontally. And I did my first vertical stream versus a horizontal stream. And let me tell you, the eyes I got on my channel just doing a vertical stream and doing a horizontal stream, just ridiculous. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hopefully, this can answer some questions. And if you guys do have any more questions, don't be afraid to leave them down in the comment section. Um... Mash that like button if you, if you found this to be informative and subscribe. Man, I can't do this without you guys. We're on our way to 8,000. We want, we want to make the Kurd army strong, and that's cheese curds, not the other curds, because come find out that's, that's a group of people. I found that out the hard way. Anyways, you guys, have a great and wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.